Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are discussing failure, the friend of the wise. Friends, when we understand that each one of us have things that we desire to do and we just sometimes come up short, it's human nature to, um, by default, become discouraged and frustrated. But I want to encourage you today, my friends. Many of you know that I am a soap maker and I utilize my talent uh, with my charity to spread hope with soaps that I do make all by hand. And being a soap maker is different from being a soap designer because you can know how to make basic soap but it's the it's the techniques and the different recipes that we're using friends that does cause us to come into a different space of challenging us as soap makers and I want to be the first to tell you friends I studied uh, soap making for a very long time thousands of hours friends of just studying and 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 eating up the knowledge from tutorials on YouTube, and of course, by the guidance of the Spirit. And one of the techniques that we use is called swirling the soap. But now, follow me today, friends, because these soap bars that you're looking at is new to our online fundraising collection, and this is my activated charcoal swirl. It's now available, but let me tell you, friends, I have made many flops and I have used many days and hours just trying to figure it out. And there were days, friends, I was discouraged and I had to do what I'm exhorting you in this video. Friends, when we apply wisdom, failure is our friend to get up, look at what we did, what can we do different, are we taking shortcuts? Because one of my tendencies, I, I want to admit my own tendency. Friends, I don't like reading instructions. <laughs> I'm terrible. I like to look at it and use my own mind how to put it together. But let me tell you, friends, most of the times, you know what? It don't work because the person that manufactured it knows how it works. That's why they give you clear instructions. <laughs> but my my learning curve is through visuals and just so happened God made me an illustrator when I teach and exhort I like to use visuals and listen friends when it comes to soap making you have to practice and practice and practice and let me tell you it has been it's been a journey friends but I want to encourage you today this soap bar excited me so much, friends, because I tell you, I have had many days where I just said, oh boy, God, this is hard. But let me tell you, friends, that repetition is the vehicle to mastery. And one of my favorite things to do now is to design my soaps and to swirl with different techniques. It's my favorite thing to do, but it came through much frustration trying to master these techniques. But I want to encourage you, what do you have your hand on, friends? What do you have your hand on that's causing you frustration? Don't give up. Keep at it. And let me tell you, friends, some of my, what I would consider my best soap designs came through failure. It came through flops. I could show you, I could go on and on of all the soaps, friends, that I have created that came through failure and mistakes. That's how I was able to just kind of bring into my own way of doing things with soap making through my own personal flops. Friends, whatever you do, you get up and you keep going. Shake it off. Shake off that failure. Shake off that feeling that you can't get it. You will get it. You will master it through repetition. But let me take this exhortation, friends, a little bit further than just what you do as whether it's a career, on the job, something you're trying to master. 
Let's look at relationships. If, if you keep coming up short with friendships, you, you got to take an, a, a real close examination of your disposition. Why can't you keep friends? And don't get me wrong now, because when we work the fields for God, we, we're not looking for friends. We're looking for disciples. We're looking for people who are sold out for Jesus Christ. But there are some people you want friends, but you're not friendly. Or you have been in relationships back to back to back. You can't seem to find someone that's, that's on, quote, your level. But could it be that you are sabotaging those relationships failing in those relationships because you have to be willing to examine how you're doing and what you are doing. Are you skipping over you? Failure gives us an opportunity and God too, to do things different and to do it better. I am a witness, friends, in my 51-year journey of the many times I have failed and most recent learning to master soap making, friends, flop, 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 flop. But you got to get up, shake it off, recalibrate your steps, and go at it again. Why are you and your husband constantly fighting? Why are you and your, your wife constantly at it, brother? What are you doing to make that contribution of failure? And what can you do more consistently to make it work? He or she that has the ear to hear. My friends, for those of you that may want to support the charity work, this new activated charcoal soap bar is now available on handmadesoapsforhope.org. The link is in the description box. As you all know, we use the soaps with your proceeds or the proceeds from everything that I sell. It helps me run the charity. It helps me offset all of our expenditures everything to run a charity, friends. So when you purchase anything from the fundraising shop, just know, friends, you are helping me spread hope all over my city and the nation. I'm looking forward to getting into the high schools now. Um, now that I have a new soap um, facility, friends, I'm excited to spread hope to the low-income girls and boys, teaching them the importance of good hygiene, motiv motivating you and them and everyone to win with your skin. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, pick yourself up, shake yourself off, and keep on doing what you do.